Hello students and welcome to preliminary chemistry or year 11 chemistry and the introduction to qualitative chemistry topic. This is our second unit uh, in year 11 chemistry and I just want to introduce it with this little concept of QQR. So this new topic is really about the uh, a focus on the relationship between mathematics and chemistry. A lot of the time when we're doing experiments, we're just looking for, say, bubbling to indicate the presence of a gas or may a colour change, which may indicate the presence of a new substance and hence a chemical change. But in quantitative chemistry, we actually want to know the amounts. We want to know the volume of gas which is produced. We might want to know the mass of a precipitate which is formed. And so therefore, we need to start working with uh, chemical uh, formulae and also mathematical formulae in order to look at the relationship between each of these different variables that we can measure and or calculate in chemistry. In order to do that, we want to have a quick look at the QQR of chemistry. This is quantity, quantity ratio. Many of the formulas that we're going to be using in chemistry rely on this quantity quantity ratio. So if I call the first quantity quantity one and the second quantity quantity two, then the ratio formula can be found by dividing quantity one by quantity two. And that gives me a calculation of a ratio for something uh, such as uh, density. So density is a ratio and it's a ratio of mass to volume. What's good about the QQR method is that you can turn each of these equations into a little triangle where your um, mathematical calculations become ratio, quantity one, quantity two, and therefore we can do calculations and rearrange the subject of an equation on, the, on this basis. It's also useful for finding units. So in the example that I just mentioned, uh, density, the units of density would be mass, which may be in grams or kilograms, and volume, which may be in milliliters or liters. And therefore we know that the units for density must be grams per milliliter or grams per milliliter and so on. So the QQR method is very, very useful for um, not only the different types of equations that we might see, but also for calculating units and rearranging the subjects of an equation. So that brings us to some of the important quantities in chemistry. And in this topic, we're going to be looking at a large number of different quantities, how we calculate them, how we manipulate different mathematical uh, equations or relationships in order to quantify things in chemistry. So it's important that you're aware of some of the important uh, quantities that we will be discussing through this topic. Also the units such as mass in grams or kilograms um, and also some of the devices that we might use in order to measure these. So an electronic balance would be, for example, the most common uh, thing that we would use. Some schools may still use triple beam balances. Uh, these are extraordinarily accurate. Uh, types of equipment, but they can be damaged in transport. Volumes are going to be usually in mils or litres, uh, and that's most accurately measured with either a measuring cylinder, or what we will also be using uh, during this topic is a volumetric flask. Other things which we may use later in our course are things like burettes, which are also very uh, accurate ways of measuring volumes. Density is a ratio, so therefore it's something we can calculate, but it's also something we can look up. Concentration is also a ratio, and concentration is usually uh, measured in a similar way to the way that density is, um, although it will occasionally involve the use of a new term, which may or may not be new to you, but which is certainly something we're going to spend a little bit of time in this topic talking about, which is moles. So concentration moles per litre, litre to the minus one. Uh, sometimes you can have percentage by weight or volume, or even uh, for very small things, parts per million. So there's a number of different uh, concentration calculations, but it's a ratio, so we look at quantities to ratios. 
Uh, pressure is usually measured in pascals or kilopascals or uh, atmospheres of pressure and temperature uh, we commonly measure it in degrees Celsius but in chemistry we more often use the um, unit of Kelvin and things like thermometers and so forth are important for measuring temperatures. So this just gives you a quick overview it's just an introductory video this one and we'll get into a little bit more uh, specifics in future videos. Thanks for watching.